Morning, ladies and gentlemen. Bertha Worry here. Hope you guys had a super awesome weekend. Well, happy Monday. Happy Monday. I hope you are doing well. Hope you are doing well. And before I get started, I, I've been having issues with my phone. I've been on, uh, went to um, Verizon. I went to the store. I went on YouTube. I did everything I possibly can do. However, it seems like it worked for a minute. And then the next minute it goes back into portrait so just bear with me I don't know what else to do uh, the guys at the um, at the uh, phone place they don't even know what to do with themselves so they are lost for words right now so just bear with me but you can also go over to my YouTube uh, channel and I go ahead and what I do over there I go ahead and rotate the video so it looks it's perfect okay so with that with that said, I've got to ask you, did you take time out to study? Remember, we must study the Word. We must, must study the Word. And we also know that it's later than we think. And the solution to any issues is Jesus Christ. And he stated, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but should have everlasting life. And that is John 3, 16. It's a little bit dark in here. It was a lot of sun, and it seemed like the sun went in. Let me open my overhead oh that's better that's a lot better that's a lot better that's a lot better so we're going to go ahead and um, talk about true revival true revival and they state the church greatest need is don't you believe that church greatest need is true revival and so before we go into our topic, let us go ahead and bow for prayer. The kind of gracious Santa Father, I thank you for this beautiful day. Right now, I ask you that you will decrease me so that you will be increased is my prayer. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Okay, my sister, my brother, scripture reading is coming from Revelation 3.3. 3. Revelation 3.3. 3. And it reads, Remember, therefore, how thou hast received and heard, and hold fast and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come unto thee. Hey, Mark. How you doing, my brother? Missed you. Hope you are doing well. Hope you are doing well, Mark. Hope you are doing well. So, my sister, my brother, yes, uh, for some people, Jesus would come, come as a thief in the night because people are not studying we are not studying so we don't want him to come as a thief we want to know when he is coming and he will reveal that as um closer as he comes to his um his return uh individual will know the the time but right now it's not open for us right now so um it's a lengthy discussion so uh, we just got to make sure that we are standing on the promises of God and we are studying his word. We are studying his words. OK, no one knows the time or the date that he's coming. But as he comes closer to individuals will know some individuals will know. So we just got to make sure that we are standing on the promises of God. So let us go into uh, what repentance is. OK, so this is going to be very, very short. And it says, although as sinners, we are under the condemnation of the law, yet Christ, by his obedience rendered to the law, claims for the repentant soul the merit of his own righteousness. In order to obtain the righteousness of Christ, it is necessary for the sinners to know what that repentance is, which works a radical change of mind and spirit and action. The work of transformation must begin in, begin in the heart and manifest its power through every faculties of the being. But man is not capable of originating such a repentance as this and can experience, and can experience it alone through Christ who ascended up on high, led captivity captive, and gave gift unto man. So that concludes our topic, what repentance is, what repentance is. So tomorrow on Tuesday, we're going to go into who wants to repent, who wants to, to repent. That is our topic for tomorrow. And so I'm, I've got my closing hymn. I will go where you want me to go. So uh, Friday we did we did verse 1. So today I'm going to do verses 2. And it says, Perhaps today 
There is a lovely, loving words which Jesus would have me speak. There may be now in the path of sin some wanderer whom I shall seek. O Savior, if thou wilt be my guide through dark and rugged the way, my voice shall echo the message sweet. I will say what you want me to say. I will go where you want me to go there, Lord, over mountain or plain or sea. I will say what you want me to say there, Lord. I will be what you want me to be. Isn't that beautiful? So let us continue, my sister, my brother, as we continue to walk in the hands of the, of the mighty God that we serve. Let us continue to give him the praise, honor, and glory. It says it doesn't matter what we're going through, right? Everything works together for good for those that love the Lord, okay? So we just got to remember that. And remember, we got to have both, right? We got to have the good, the bad, and the ugly, What you know. And everything works together. Everything works together. And because why? We are building. He is per, um, per, purifying us. He's building our character. And he sees things in us that is not of him. So he used everything that he can possibly use in order to make us a better person. So we as individuals just need to be humble, take our time, and just be in that quiet moment, that quiet space, knowing that God has the best for us. He knows what is best for us. So we just got to remain that little children as he carry us. We just got to look in his face and continue to depend totally on him totally on him let us bow for prayer the kind of gracious and father i thank you for this day i thank you for my brother and my sisters that stopped by today father continue to bless each one of us father continue to bless us father if we have failed you today father we ask you that you would just wash us father and make us whiter than snow Thank you, Father, for giving us another opportunity to get our life in order. So just take these empty vessels, fill us up, Father, with the love that we need for one another. Continue to bless us today is my prayer. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Okay, my sister, my brother, thank you guys so much for stopping by. And if this was a blessing to you, if this was value to you, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the share button, and then you can also go over to YouTube and find me there as well under Burdell Warrior, and then you can hit the subscribe button. So thank you so much, and I really, I really appreciate it. And you know what? I love you. Yes, yes, yes. I love you. Thank you so much for stopping by, and take care.